Hey guys, this is Brad from Max Rarity. I have Larry Musgrove here, and he's bringing us his top winning death profile from the ARG 1K in um, St. Louis. Well, St. Louis 1K. This time I actually did something, not like last time. Okay. Alright, so three Candina, triple Lycoris, and a Lily Bill. Uh, still the standard lineup. Nothing will change until we get the level 5. She's really broken. Uh, two honest. I'm probably gonna actually cut this down like the one or zero. Uh, it's okay. Gofu, sadly, it's at one now, but it outs like everything. It's a one card combo, lets you like link and stuff. Like, and there's a crazy combo of Candina, which I had showed in a previous deck profile. Um, then the hand traps outside of honest, maxi, triple ash, triple ogre. And triple draw and black bear. Um, you always want to have like a huge ratio of hand traps in this format. Like it's just perfect. And then that's it for the monsters. I can't remember exactly how many monsters it is. And then so the spells: triple light stage, triple terraforming, standard, triple cosmic. Uh, the pendulum matchup is kind of sketchy in my opinion, so I want to max out on that card. Uh, two Pot Desires, um, two Scapegoat. At the regionals that I won, I only played one, but that was one in GoFu was at three. I would probably, um, after, like, this event and, like, further on, I would probably play three of this card. This card's, like, just auto-win. And then one Regeki. Uh, you don't really need board wipes in this deck, like, just because of Honest. Triple Strike Warning, um, just good going first cards, and then triple trickster reincarnation. So is is do you think scapegoat is going to be a card going forward that every deck is going to play three of? I don't think every deck's going to play it, but this deck should always be playing it. <laughs> because it's, there, it, to you, it's an auto win. It's like an auto win ninety percent of the time. Do we get to the extra, extra deck or the side deck first? Oh, you, up to you. Okay, well, we'll go to extra deck. Alright, so one double helix for the Reaper target. I don't do this now, if, like, this is just the list from two weekends ago, but it's not the worst thing ever um, when you're going second against Spiral. And then one Baguska, one Brick Sword. Uh, these are only like seeds I play. Um, you don't even really need these. Well, you need Brick Sword. You don't need this as much anymore. Like, if I'm in a position where I'm needing to use two Candinas, I'm probably, like, winning anyway, so. One Ancient Fairy Dragon. Sometimes you just make this with, like, Gofu and, or, like, Gofu Candina search a label special. Or sometimes you special back Candina with the trap card and some of the Ghost Ogre. I've done that a lot of times. Then Omega. Ib and Ninjarisu. Um, scapegoat in any monster is uh, draw one and send a card. This is Radiant. Two Link Spiders. All of these are scapegoat cards. Uh, Firewall Dragon. Topologic Bomber Dragon. Uh, crazy loops with this card, with Lily Bill and Lycoris, which usually end with game. And this card's a Regeki with the trap card on my opponent's turn. Uh, Decode Talker, uh, just go few cards. Holly Angel, uh, actually has a like, few like OTKs with this card. Proxy Dragon, uh, just another go few card. Well, sometimes you just make it. And then to the side deck, triple system down for ABC and I don't know if there's any other machine decks that I'm really scared of. Uh, two dimensional bears, uh, I wouldn't go up to three but like pendulums is really scary. Uh, two storm dusters, I really like this card going first, like just setting it and then blowing them out. It's pretty good. Two chaos trap holes for pendulum, ABC, all like masterpiece decks, stuff like that. And the mirror match even. Uh, triple Reaper uh, for the spiral matchup. No, that spirals aren't really doing anything. Well, it's still like going second against them can still be really scary. 
And then triple evenly matched, another going second card. Uh, and this is like a card that won me most of my games. I didn't drop a game in the 1k, and this was a big reason. <laughs> and just shout outs to Plus One Gaming and Max Ready Productions. Thanks, Larry. No problem. Uh, thanks uh, for watching, guys. May you like to see Max Ready is my Max and Larry's because he's working on me. <laughs> he's working on me. Yeah, man. And have a great day.